Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are working on my master bedroom. Now, I hope that y'all are not going to be disappointed, but there is not going to be any major construction done in this room. I don't know if y'all watched my last renovation video where I worked on my stairway and my hallway, but it was a lot of work. So I am super excited just to have a room that needs to be pulled together and made beautiful. So that is what we are gonna be doing on today's video. Now, I'm not 100% sure how this room is gonna look, what exactly I want to do, but whenever I am designing a room, I start off with the stuff that I 100% know for sure i want in the room and then i work from there i am also influenced by the items that i find so sometimes along the way the plan changes so today y'all gonna come along on the design process with me as i just pull this master bedroom together and make it look beautiful what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by me showing y'all everything that i have already done and then we're gonna take it from there I've already painted all the walls in this room. I use Sherwin-Williams White Duck, the same paint color I have been using throughout the house. I've already painted all the moldings and all the doors. Those are in Greek Villa in a semi-gloss finish. And I've also painted all the hardware on all the doors and I just used Rust-Oleum spray paint in a satin black finish. So every surface in this room has been painted. We also had all the flooring changed out uh, when we first moved here. So that has also been done. Just those few things completely transformed the room. And this is actually the first piece of furniture that I thrifted when we got here. I got it for $100 off of Facebook Marketplace and I painted it with kind of like a black wash and then I went over it with the Rust-Oleum antiquing wax. And if y'all remember, <laughs> I spent all day painting this bed and then a little Ren Lucille came in with some white paint and painted the bed and I had to start over but <laughs> it ended up coming out beautiful I really do love it I find it reads more black but when you see it with the sun shining on it you can see a lot of that brown and I really love it I made these nightstands in a video and I'll have a link to that in the description below but I used a metal sewing table base and then made kind of like a wood tray top to it so i kind of have a matching set still absolutely love those side tables and if y'all remember i think these pictures up here were yeah they were the first thing that i thrifted when i moved to this area i still absolutely loved them i put them over my bed but we're gonna do a little diy to them because i, I need to change up the color a little bit and then also I have some new bedding coming in because y'all, this is the bedding from my husband's camper. It is not cute, it is not comfy, and it has got to go. So we're gonna be getting some new bedding in. And then on this side of the room, we have this chair that I thrifted for $25. We absolutely love it. It rocks, it glides, it swivels, it does all the stuff, it's super comfortable. And then I have my curtains that I purchased, I think right away. And y'all, they're from Target. They're a drop cloth curtain style. Um, but they were $27 a panel. <laughs> so that's why in the rest of the house, I decided to go with real drop cloth curtains. And I actually much prefer the real drop cloth curtains and they're so much cheaper, but I already purchased these. So we're going to be keeping them. Also have my rug. It is huge. It's from Amazon. I'll post a link in the description below. And then I purchased this dresser for $50. I have already, um, I chalk painted it and I distressed it and I really like the way it came out and it also has lots of storage. So I have done lots of things to the room but I still feel like it just looks very empty. It doesn't look decorated. It, it needs some more stuff done to it. So we are going to make it look pretty and I'm going to start off with this space right here. This is a mirror that came with the dresser and it's fine. I could live with it but then I found something at the thrift store that I just had to have. I found this huge gold frame mirror for $20, y'all. And I just think this is going to look so much better on top of this dresser and kind of go more with everything else that I am doing in the room. So the first thing we're going to do 
is change out the mirrors. Antique furniture is so heavy, so I'm hoping I can get this mirror off by myself without any kind of incident. The antique frame that I purchased did have some damage to it. So what I did was I got some rub and buff in the antique gold color and I went over that everywhere that there was damage. And then I really wanted to tone down the mirror because I wanted it to be a little bit darker, a little bit more antique and age looking. So I took the Waverly antiquing wax and just put it on the entire mirror and then wiped it off with a paper towel. And that really made such a huge difference. I love the way that it came out. And also this is a technique that I'm gonna be doing on other pieces in the room. So it'll kind of all tie together. All right, I got the old mirror off without any issues. And now I got to put on the new mirror. It is also super heavy. <laughs> it does have a wire hanger on the back, but I do not wanna hang it from that. I want to hang it from the brackets that are on each side of the frame. Here is a little trick to make something with two brackets much easier to hang. You put your painter's tape across the whole piece, then you mark on your painter's tape where your hanging brackets are. Now I am marking the height that I need the brackets on the mirror to be, and then I am going to tape my painter's tape and apply it to the wall. And I can make sure that my marks are all at the correct height and the correct length before I put any holes in the wall. Like I said, this mirror is very heavy, so I'm going to be putting some heavy duty drywall anchors in, and then I'm going to put some screws, and then I am going to put my mirror on the wall. Hopefully it comes out absolutely perfect. Since I am doing this by myself, I put a towel on my dresser so I could put the mirror on top of there and hopefully get it up by myself without damaging the dresser. Y'all, I did it and <laughs> it came out perfect the first time. I love it, it looks great. Okay, I have this area all styled and I am loving the way that it looks. It needs to be practical, but I also want it to look pretty. So I'm trying to balance the two, but let me show y'all what I've done. First, can we just take a moment and look how this mirror has totally transformed the space. It was definitely the right decision to put this mirror here. And then I have this laundry basket here. It's very practical, but that doesn't mean it can't be cute. So I added a little lamb's ear wreath to it. And I think it's adorable. I like the wood tone color against all the white that I have here. I added this basket tray to the dresser, not only to protect it and add some warmth, but also so that all my decor has a place to land. And to give the space a little bit of height, I added this glass jar on top of a stack of books and put one sprig of eucalyptus greenery in it. Do y'all remember this brush that I thrifted? I love it so much. I think it adds so much character and texture to the space. And then I put this big spool of string into this rusty colander. And I think it is just the cutest combination. And then on top of the spool, I put some old rusty scissors. I am loving the way this little vignette turned out. And I did leave some room in the tray because you know, we have to have place for the non cute items as well. Over here on this side, I have this little ball. It's actually a mistletoe from Christmas, but I don't think it looks like Christmas. So I put it on top of this candlestick and I absolutely love the way it kind of looks like a topiary now. I think that is so cute. I just put it on top of a stack of books just to kind of tie into the books I have over here. And do y'all remember these little birds that I made over on a video? I decided this would be the perfect spot for them. And then I have a little glass jar with some lamb's ear in it. And that also ties back into the lamb's ear wreath that I have on the basket. And then I just put a basket right here just for a little visual interest and texture. And then I have another brush and I just put 
a cute little hand drawing in it that will tie into some artwork that I am going to be putting by my bed. I am feeling like I need something right here, but I'm not sure what. So I think I'm gonna wait until I have some other stuff together in the room to decide what to put right here. But for now, I am very happy with what I was able to accomplish today. I think it looks really great. Let me know what y'all think. My bedding has arrived. Y'all, I actually have Brooklyn and Sheets at my home in Louisiana. So when they reached out to me and wanted to sponsor today's video, I was so excited because I've already been using and know that I love their products. And I have really been needing to order new bedding for this bed, but you know, I've just been kind of busy. I haven't gotten around to it, but it is time because I need good sheets in my life. Now y'all know that I love thrifting, but I also do not mind spending money on quality items and sheets are definitely one of those things. Brooklyn's philosophy is that everyone deserves simple, beautiful bedding without the luxury markup. These sheets have over 90,000 five-star reviews, more than any bedding company. Brooklyn and gives you quality and comfort at an affordable price by cutting out the middleman. And you could save 25% if you order one of their bundle deals instead of purchasing items individually. Now a bundle deal will cost you in between $200 and $250. However, comparable luxury sheets will cost you upwards of $400. And if you want to save even more money, Brooklinen is giving my subscribers $20 off a $100 purchase by using code Julie at checkout. I will have a link in the description below for y'all. I chose Brooklinen's classic hardcore sheet bundle. If you are a hot sleeper like me, you definitely need these sheets. They feature a breathable 270 thread count weave that will keep you cool all night long. The bundle includes the core sheet set, extra pillowcases, and a duvet cover. Of course, I chose white, but you can mix and match over 25 different colors and patterns so you can find something that fits your particular style. And you can even mix and match within your bundle. So say you wanted white sheets, but then you wanted a colored duvet. You could definitely do that. You can even mix and match different bedding sizes within your own bundle. Go online and check out their website and see all the options that they have. So not only will your bed look great, but it will also feel great. And you spend one third of your life in sheets. Don't you want them to be comfortable? I know with the long, busy days that I have, I need a good night's sleep so I can be prepared for whatever the next day brings along. So I'm going to go wash my sheets and then I'm going to make this bed look pretty. Y'all, I wish you could feel how cool and crisp these sheets are. I cannot wait to sleep on them tonight. I really wish I would have ordered them a long time ago, but you know how it is. As moms, we just put ourselves on the back burner and our needs and wants just sometimes come last. But I have to remember that it's important to also take care of myself. So that way I can be my best self for my kids. I don't know about y'all, but I need my sleep. I truly wish I was one of those people that could go on very little sleep, but I am not. If I do not get enough sleep, I get super emotional. What happens to y'all if y'all don't get enough sleep? Please leave a comment below. I think that having a comfortable bed and good sheets and a beautiful bedroom to lay your head in is definitely a wonderful form of self-care. I also want to point out that Brooklinen's pillow cover has the little flap that goes over your pillow so you do not see any of your pillow and it also cannot fall out and I love that feature. It's been a few days. I have been busy with other things including Ren's third birthday. Can y'all 
believe that she is three years old. If you have been with my channel since the beginning, you have probably seen her grow up. I started this channel right after she was born and she stayed at home with me until she was a year and a half year old. So sometimes she would, you know, be in the backgrounds of my video being all cute and everything. Y'all, I just cannot believe that she is three years old. Anyway, <laughs> I also wanted to give y'all a review on the sheets because it has been a while since I've been to my home in Louisiana and it is much colder up here in North Mississippi. So I was kind of worried that maybe the sheets would feel cold, but y'all, I can definitely tell you they are not. They, I felt like very warm and cozy in my bed, but I did not wake up in the middle of the night sweating. So that was amazing. Now, if you think that the cool and crisp percale sheets are not the right option for you, Brook Linen does have an another bundle deal. They have the Lux Hardcore bundle that comes with their best selling Lux satin sheets. These sheets have a 470 thread count. They have a much tighter weave that makes them a little bit heavier than the percale sheets and they also have a more warm, buttery, soft feel to them. So those sheets also sound amazing. Actually, if you have that sheet set, can you leave a comment below? Because I am thinking about also ordering those. They are Brooklyn's bestseller. I feel like I wanna try them out and I also need to make sure I have an extra sheet set because Ren does like to come in our bed in the middle of the night and pee sometimes. I know, the joys of motherhood, right? <laughs> And I'll make sure to have all that info and all the links and everything in the description below. Now, that's enough chit chat. Let's get back to work. I really want to try to finish this room today. I don't know that, if that's going to happen, but we'll see. But I do want to work on this blank wall next, the wall in between the two windows. So let's go do that. I purchased this shelf from the thrift store for $15. I was going to put it in my daughter's room, but it is actually the perfect size for this wall. So I painted it white and I distressed it. That'll kind of tie back into the dresser that's over here. And I also added three hooks to it. So I am so excited because not only will I be able to decorate the top of the shelf, but I will be able to hang some cute stuff underneath the shelf. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this up on the wall and decorate this space. Y'all, it is 11.30 at night. I am exhausted. My cat is exhausted, but the space is done and I just could not wait to show y'all. I love how it came out. So let me show y'all what I've done. All right, let's start down here. I just thrifted this little chair and I absolutely love it because it almost looks like a bench and I think it just works perfectly right here under the hooks. And then this topiary, I actually just purchased from Ikea and I put it in a crock and I put it on some books just to lift it up a little bit. I wanted it to be higher than the chair. Then I have the hooks. Y'all, my husband asked if he could hang his vest up. And I'm like, no, that is what your closet for. This is for all my pretty things. <laughs> I actually just thrifted this basket the other day and I love these sprigs of eucalyptus from Ikea. I have them all over the house. And then this is actually a little throw from five below and I cut it in half because you're going to see it somewhere else in the room, but I love the color and texture on it. I actually wish I would have bought a few more because I really like them just as a core. They are definitely not comfortable or anything like that, but they do look cute. I just thrifted this little creamer and I just absolutely love the color on it. And it came with two cups. So I have one over here and then I have another one somewhere else in the room. And this is a pants hanger. I think it's from Ikea. And then I made a drop cloth background and then hung this vintage Louisiana print. I don't even remember where it came from but it was in my stash of stuff and I just thought that it would look perfect right there. Y'all know I'm trying to bring little pieces of Louisiana to our Mississippi home. 
I am absolutely loving these glass jugs with the sprig of eucalyptus. So it ties into the one that I have on my dresser. And this picture frame I just got from an estate sale and it didn't have a glass and I just absolutely loved the wire on the back of it. So I decided to let that show and just hung some little sprigs of greenery. I do think I wanna get some dried floral and that would look amazing. But for now, I'm just using what I have. And then I have a crock pitcher just on a little set of books. And then this little spool of string with some cute rusty scissors in it. Again, that is tying back to what I have on the dresser. I felt like I needed just a little bit of French country to tie into the rest of the room. So I put that little gold piece right there. And then, you know, I needed a basket. I actually just thrifted this basket out as well. It did have handles and I just took them off. I just love the shape and the size of that basket. And then I had this mirror. I had it picked up for a while and I just thought something tall would look good there. And I think it works. And then I have the little coffee mug that the, goes with the creamer that I have over here and I just felt like I needed one more thing so I just stuck that glass jar right there and I think it looks really great like I said I love how this came together y'all please let me know what y'all think of this space I thought I love the dresser area and I do um, I do enjoy French country. I find I've been doing a lot of it in this house, but this, this is me. This is 100% my style. These are all the things I've thrifted and hunted down since I've been here. And now I have it hanging up on my wall, looking beautiful for me just to lay in my bed and enjoy. I actually did end up finishing the entire room today. So even though it is very late, I think I'm just going to show y'all everything and wrap up this video. I really want to put a full size mirror in my room. And as much as I love my spoonbill print, I feel like this wall is the best place to put it. And it's also going to reflect all the light coming from the window on that side of the room. Y'all, I got this mirror. It is a 27 inch buy 70 inch mirror from walmart it was only 60 dollars. i feel like that's a great price i know that the thinner frames are in style but i personally love the thicker one and i think it matches well with my bed it is already black but to tie it into my bed even more i'm going to put a layer of the antiquing wax on it just like i did my bed i'm going to let that dry and then i'm going to mount it onto the wall since we do have little kids in the house I feel like that's a safer option. Also, okay, in South Louisiana, we didn't have these vents on the ground. This is something I've never had to deal with before, and it is always messing up my designs. So <laughs> that is annoying, but I'm going to mount the mirror up on top of the vent. I don't mind that these frames are gold, but what I don't like about them is kind of the tiger stripe look of the gold. They are professionally matted, so I can't take them out and paint the frame. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the rub and buff in an antique gold and apply it on the frame. Then I'm going to go back with the Waverly antiquing wax and apply it over and then wipe it back with a paper towel. And that just gives it the nice aged gold look that I love. I think that looks a lot better. It stands out more. It's going to tie into some other gold things that I have going in the room. Also, I realized that I've never talked about the paneling on the wall. I did not do that. That was here from the previous homeowners, but I like it. So I just painted it the same color as the rest of the room. And I think it looks fine. I think it lots, adds a lot of interest and details to the wall. So yeah, I kept it. I like it. Now I'm going to concentrate on decorating around the bed. I don't want to put too much, but I feel like it's still feeling a little bit empty. So I'm going to add a few things. I don't 100% love the mirror here. I kind of wish I had room for it in the bathroom. So this is definitely more of a practical thing because I mean, you need a full size mirror. I do like that I can come here. I can see what I'm wearing. I mean, you have to have a full size mirror in the house. So that is staying there. It's fine. I do have a little bit of an open wall here, but 
you know we don't need to fill up every ounce of the room i think it looks good with nothing there and then i brought my tree in if you haven't seen the video where i turned this ficus tree into a eucalyptus tree you definitely need to check that out i feel like it looks perfect right here in the corner although i really want to go find a vintage stool that's about a foot high because i do like the tree a little bit taller I wanted to keep the nightstands very simple. I did feel like it needed another piece of art above it, but I didn't want it to stand out too much. So I had two square frames. I painted them white and distressed them. And then I did a drop cloth background. And then I just took a little black clip and I clipped. I had some smaller prints from Miss Connie the same artist that did all the artwork in my stairway. So these are two prints of our hometown in Pierport, Louisiana, and I absolutely love having them on each side of the bed. This is my husband's side of the bed. I just, you know, did a cute little vignette right here, and then he stuck some of his Hot Wheels in this apothecary jar, but that's okay, I'll let him have that design decision. And do y'all remember the cigar boxes that I thrifted a few weeks ago? Well, I put some little spindle legs on them and look how cute this turned out. I picked legs that was almost the same color as the box. So that way it looks like it was meant to be and it's a perfect little place to hide chapsticks or cell phones or you know, whatever, just hidden away so that way everything looks cute and this is my side of the bed so i have a bigger cigar box with a basket on top of it i just really like having a basket next to the bed just to throw my stuff in and then i have two decorative books and this beautiful iron scale that i got from kilgore's i absolutely love it i just put a jar with a sprig of greenery there and i love the way that this looks now my bed i decided to keep super simple the only pillows on the bed are the ones we actually use i do not have any throw pillows because i also feel like i've spent one third of my life picking up throw pillows so i decided not to do that i just put one of our everyday pillows with a linen pillow cover and called it a day and then i threw two throw blankets on across the bed and of course this is not practical at all but it does look good for this video right <laughs> i'm gonna try not to disturb the cat but i wanted to show y'all this little area i ended up putting this little side table right here and this may be shocking to some of y'all but i think i want to get one of those vintage round tables that have that has a tall lamp that comes up i think that would actually be perfect in this area and then i could say that i own a lamp <laughs> so i didn't put anything on the walls because i have that in mind and i feel like i need to wait and get the lamp before i put anything on the wall right here so I think for now this works out and I'm sure I'll find the perfect piece to put right there. I really hope that y'all enjoyed this video because I had so much fun doing it. I absolutely love staging and decorating and designing and it was such a nice break just to do some fun stuff and not any major construction but I am absolutely exhausted, so I cannot wait to go climb into my Brook Linen bedding. Y'all don't forget that Brook Linen is giving my subscribers $20 off a $100 purchase when you use code Julie, and I will have a link in the description below. I definitely highly recommend Brook Linen's bedding. I hope that y'all have a wonderful night, <laughs> and I will see y'all in the next video. Mm -hmm.